this statement which was just posted on President Jacob Zuma's website moments ago acknowledges that what brought Nelson Mandela to hospital this past Saturday was a previous uh, condition for which he has been treated before. Let me just read for you specifically what the president's office is saying. Quote, doctors have concluded tests and they've revealed a recurrence of a previous lung infection for which Madiba, as Nelson Mandela is affectionately called, is receiving appropriate treatment and he is responding to the treatment. The statement goes on to uh, thank the public for continuous support for the former president and his family at this time. Now, Nina, it was a few years ago that the former president, Nelson Mandela, was um, admitted to hospital for some sort of respiratory illness, it's believed. Earlier this year, it's understood he had a follow-up visit to the hospital. There were some questions about why uh, the former president needed to be flown to this military hospital in Pretoria this past weekend, considering it is 500 miles from his uh, birthplace in his uh, current home in Kunu, and also considering the fact that he does have a full team of doctors providing him care 24 hours at his home. So the statement just released by the president's office now acknowledges that the cause for this visit to the hospital was a lung infection, a previous lung infection, that the former president has is being treated um, for that illness and will continue to remain um, at the hospital. So it's a, you know, a man who is 94 years old, will need constant medical care, and it seems as though it's a, a lung infection that is bringing Nelson Mandela back to the hospital. He's obviously such a hugely influential and important figure in South Africa's recent history, Errol. The fact that we had such radio silence, and as you said, he was transported to a military hospital, very little information being given about his condition over the last few days. How has that gone down in South Africa? Well, understandably, uh, Nina, Nelson Mandela is the true spiritual heart of South Africa for his efforts to um, end the racist apartheid regime, bring democracy to the country, and of course be elected as its first black president, and then had to oversee reconciliation um, among its population. So certainly, South Africans uh, do feel very close to the man. At the same time, though, what the government has said is that the reason they've been so limited in the information they're providing to the public is because people here do tend to, to, to be very concerned any time Nelson Mandela's health takes a turn for the worse. At the same time, the government says he's retired from public life. Nelson Mandela retired from public life back in 2004. He was last seen at a public event during the closing ceremonies at the World Cup here in 2010. So the government is trying to do two things at the same time, provide information to a, a global audience which is concerned, but of course respect the privacy of a man who is now a private citizen and respect the wishes of his family. So we know it's a previous lung infection, that's why he's in the hospital, and we'll keep you posted as we get more information.